Let's take a look at the design packs section from the Drive dashboard. So if we access our Drive dashboard from the left sidebar of the WordPress admin dashboard and scroll down to get to the Drive features, this is where we'll find the design packs card. Now here you'll be able to find the centralized dashboard for all of the Drive suite designs that you've created. Let's go ahead and click on manage design packs to open up our dashboard. Now, as you can see, once you get to this page, you'll notice that you can either export or import content. This will be very useful in case you want to export the content from a website and import it on another website, for example. In this tutorial, we will focus on the process of exporting content, for example, a Drive Team Builder team or a landing page from this website and importing it to another one. So let's see how this can be done. As I've just mentioned, we have two tabs available here, the export and the import tab. And of course, one will let you export the content and the other one can be accessed when you want to import the content to another website. As you can see, we will have four types of content that we can export. You can click on each one to open pop-ups with the available content that you can export. So for example, we have Drive Team Builder Teams and you can select your team that you want to export. And then you can go for multiple content types at the same time, because as you select multiple elements here, let's go for this page as well and click on save and close. Once you export the content, a zip file will be created as a design pack. So this will make it possible for you to export multiple types of content at the same time as a design pack. So as you can see, I have chosen one theme, one landing page and one page, and this is going to be my design pack. And now, of course, all there's left to do here is click on export content. So as I said, a pack will be generated and downloaded as an archive to your computer. And once the download is complete, you will be able to look for the archive in your downloads folder from your computer. If you want to download it again, you can use this download your generated pack link and the download will restart. An important thing to remember here is that if, for example, you do not have Drive Team Builder active on your website, the Drive Team Builder card will be locked when trying to export a team. So you will not be able to export Drive Team Builder team unless you have the plugin active on your site. Now, as you're done exporting, click on this button and you will be back to the main page of this dashboard. Now let's go ahead and access another website and see how we can import the design pack there. This is another website that I have, so I'm going to go ahead and access the Drive dashboard again and scroll down to get to the Design Packs card. Of course, I'm going to click on Manage Design Packs to access the Design Packs dashboard. And this time we're going to go to the Import tab. And naturally, we're going to have to click on Select File, which will open the WordPress Media Library. And here we'll be able to upload our previously exported design pack. All right, so once we have this design pack add it to our media library, we can select it and click on import design pack here. Once the bar has finished loading, we're going to see that the design pack has been successfully imported. Now, depending on the type of content that you've imported, you will be able to find it in different places. For example, the Drive Team Builder teams will be added directly to your Drive Team Builder dashboard in the Teams section. The landing pages will be available for you to choose them when creating a new landing page. And you can find the regular content either in the Global Elements section of the Drive dashboard or inside the Templates and Symbols element. If you click on this Learn More link, you will be taken to a knowledge base article that explains the location of each type of imported content. But we can quickly check it out right now. So as I said, a Drive Team Builder team will be added straight to your Drive Team Builder dashboard. So as you can see, it will be right here under the Teams section. Then let's go ahead and add a new page and launch Drive Architect. And we will be asked to choose the type of page that we want to create. When choosing the pre-built landing page, we're going to have the saved landing page section right here, which is where we'll find the landing page that we've imported through the design pack. If we go ahead and add a templates and symbol element to one of our pages, we're going to find our imported page as one of the templates from this pop-up. 
So as you can see, it says that it's imported. So this has been imported through that design pack. And the same goes for posts as well. However, pages and posts, as I said, will also be available under the global elements section of the Triumph dashboard, which I'm going to go ahead and access right now and scroll down to get to the global elements card right here. And I'm going to click on manage global elements and under the content templates tab, we're going to find our imported page or post templates right here. Also the name of the imported themes, landing pages, pages or posts will inherit the name of the initial content from where it was exported. And this is how you can use the design packs to export and import content on your Drive Themes website. I really hope this tutorial was useful and do not hesitate to check out our knowledge base for more tutorials and our YouTube channels as well.